When watching a reality show like Outdaughtered, it's best to take things with a grain of salt. Most loyal reality show watchers know not to take everything at face value, because things are sometimes edited or even faked to make for a more entertaining show. Reality stars usually accept this, but one TLC star has hinted that he isn't too happy with how he's been portrayed lately. Adam Busby, the patriarch of the outdaughtered family, recently expressed his frustration on Instagram at how editing on outdaughtered is skewing viewer perception of what his relationship with his wife is really like. At the end of October, Adam Busby posted a sweet picture of himself with his wife, Danielle Busby, on Instagram. The picture was taken on a dude ranch that was featured on a season 6 episode of Outdaughtered. In the picture, the Busby mom and dad look like they're having a good time. In the comments, Adam wrote, quote, The ranch looks good on her. That's when things got… messy. In a now-deleted comment, one fan attacked Danielle, saying that she had been treating Adam poorly and making him, quote, look like an idiot on the show. Yikes. Adam was quick to defend his wife. He responded, That is something we have seen in the editing more over the last couple seasons, and it isn't true to our relationship. It will stop. It sounds like the editing on Outdaughtered is something that has been bothering the Busbys for a while, and with good reason. This isn't the only time that Adam has had to defend his relationship from critics who have gotten a misguided impression of what's going on in the Busby household. Season 6 of Outdaughtered has seen Adam and the rest of the Busby family adjusting to his new job, which requires him to travel once a month. When the show broadcast an argument between Danielle and Adam over Adam not leaving travel dates on the calendar, a fan posted in the comments of another of Adam's October Instagram posts, this time criticizing Adam for how he was treating his wife. He didn't make a point to put it on the calendar and really talk about dates to go away. I asked you, you what, what... No, you I, didn't! I, I not... Again, Adam put the blame on editing. He wrote, You just saw where they decide to cut it in. It's television. Remember that. Fortunately, some fans are able to see that Outdaughtered's producers are telling a story that might not be entirely truthful. After the season 6 premiere, one fan tweeted at Adam, saying, Gonna be honest, I've just seen the premiere, and I know couples have arguments, and obviously yours are caught on camera. I think that the way episode 1 was edited is painting you in a bad light. It's possible that this subversive editing may be at least part of what has had Adam Busby in such a funk lately. In an October 25th Instagram post, the reality star worried fans with a cryptic message. He wrote, Being in the public eye isn't always sunshine and rainbows, so we are grateful for our support system of friends and family that aren't afraid to go to battle for us and lift us up when we are under attack. When fans asked in the comments of the post if he was referring to online trolls, Adam responded, quote, It goes a little deeper than that, on a much higher level. We can't blame the Busbys for being upset about how they're being portrayed on Outdaughtered, especially because it's far from the only thing that Danielle and Adam have on their plates. Being the parents of six kids is already enough to keep any person busy. But the Busbys are also dealing with parent shamers, relationship shamers, and their daughter Parker's anxiety. Critics have been coming after the Busbys for everything from letting one of the quints, Riley, skip pre-K and go ahead to kindergarten to setting aside time for them to have a weekly date night without the kids. It's a lot to juggle, but the Busbys are doing the best they can and are trying to stay optimistic. As Danielle wrote in an October 25th blog post, positivity is key. On their family site, It's a Buzz World, she wrote, Do you ever just find yourself in a grumpy mood? Sometimes I can't put my finger on the exact cause. Maybe just a mix of roller coaster hormones, a messy house, a long to-do list, and plain old exhaustion. But I let all these things contribute to my bad mood, and it makes it hard to appreciate the good things in life sometimes. I think the only cure for this is gratitude. It turns what we have into enough. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite reality shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.